A special train had arrived from the other railway. It was full of enthusiasts from far away who wanted to come see the island and its engines. Most of the passengers are from across the pond, explained Henry's driver that morning. You mean America? Yawned Henry. North America, to be specific. They certainly are interested in our plucky engines. Plucky indeed. I'm an enterprising engine. I'm far too busy to be pulling silly tourist trains anyway. But deep down in his smoke box, Henry hoped he'd be picked. Little did he know, the fat controller had already made his decision. James spluttered Henry. Why, James of all engines? Why wouldn't he pick me? Boasted James. I'm the pride of the line, after all. What rubbish! Snorted Henry. I'm much better suited for it. You'll just get too puffed up. The other engines couldn't help but laugh, but James didn't care. You're just jealous, he teased. Besides, we didn't think you wanted it anyways. He laughed as he rode happily away to collect the special train. Henry just glared as he slunk away to collect his own train. That James, Henry hissed. As he clattered along with his goods, doesn't the fat controller realize he's just feeding his ego? Never mind, said this driver. James is bound to slip up sooner or later. Perhaps then we'll be given the train. Henry wasn't so sure, and he retreated to a sunkly silence. But his thoughts were soon interrupted as they approached the next station. They found the station master waiting for them. There's trouble up the line, he explained. Donald has broken down. You'll have to wait until the line's cleared. Typical," muttered Henry. "Well, if we can't go until the line's clear, we can at least push the train to the next station," said the driver. The arrangements were quickly made, and Henry clanked up the line until he found the stranded Donald. "Get going, you!" snarled Henry. As he slowly started the two trains, it was hard going, with Henry snorting furiously all the while. At last, the next station hoved into view. Unfortunately, Henry's grief wasn't over. The relief's been called away to help with another breakdown, but there's a breakdown here," spluttered Henry. "Never mind," laughed the driver. "We've brought it here already. We could always take it further on." Henry failed to find the funny side, but there was nothing he could do. The long train was quickly readied, with Donald moved to a siding. Henry wheezed loudly as he dug deep for more steam to get the train moving. I can do this. I can do this," he told himself. It was hard work. Henry and his foreman worked hard to keep the trains going, but the old engine was determined to pull through. He was soon running well, but Gordon's Hill loomed ahead. Henry tore at it with a thunder and a roar. I won't let this silly thing beat me, especially now. He thought as he pounded along. Thankfully, it wasn't long before he crested the hill. At the station beyond, Don's train was thankfully delivered. This made the rest of the journey to the end of the line much easier. His crew were very proud, and Henry rode thankfully away for a well-deserved drink. As he was being turned around in the yards, he heard a toot from the main line, and watched as James raced by with the enthusiast train. He was now too tired to care about missing out on the event. Ah well, perhaps another time, he said with a smile. His crew parked him in a siding for a rest before his return train. He was dozing comfortably 
when he heard a voice. Excuse me, Henry. Henry cracked open an eye to see a smartly dressed man standing in front of him. I do apologize if I woke you up, the man quickly added, but I was with the enthusiast group today and I heard about a remarkable engine pulling two trains at once. He paused impressively. I'm quite the one for hearing and telling stories. I was wondering perhaps you could tell me all about it. Henry perked up. He liked this gentleman. He certainly knew how to speak to engines. Henry beamed. Oh, of course, sir. And with that, the kind gentleman listened as the jolly old engine began chatting away.